you know, I'm a Christian. It's a cool religion. Right? But it has its own faith in God. But I'm, I'm from Africa. You know, we go through a lot of things that you know, as out of ordinary, that you know, this is God's doing. I do not see why anyone will not believe in God in the first place. Either, either you are Buddhist, Buddhism, whether you are practicing Buddhism, whether you are practicing uh, Hindus or all that kind of thing. It, it's the same God we are looking at. It's just that it's different. The way we worship Him is different from each other. And I asked a question from a friend of mine. I said, why do you always, whenever Muhammad is mentioned, why do you always say this? Why, why do you always do this? That's why the argument started. We, we preach to them, we let them know the truth. That this is the only way, this is the only truth and what. If some of them are worshippers of uh, uh, there's what we call uh, idols, that's the only thing I'm able to do that, uh, that gave me peace of mind at least. Hey everyone, bit of a shorter video. Just spoke to a, a gentleman from Nigeria, a Christian. Uh, started off a little bit shaky uh, as he sort of said that we all worship the same God, whether we're Christian, Buddhist, Muslim. Um, but then I guess he started to uh, recall maybe some of his uh, uh, Christian convictions and beliefs uh, and then we we found the com common ground that Jesus is the is the one that makes a difference uh, the one whose life and identity and his words and his miracles and everything that he did and stood for really sets him apart from uh, everything else out there so uh, we found um, encouragement in one another and uh, hopefully he's uh, he's new to London. He's new to the UK, and he's gonna be able to uh, once he says once he once he finds his feet, uh, gonna be able to uh, get carry on with the work of evangelism, which he finds um, had some experience and finds quite passionate. So that was my prayer for him that he does um, uh, speak the gospel in his new surroundings, and that God blesses him. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully he. Uh, he stays uh, remembering and holding on firmly to, to the truth that he's been told. Um, anyway, that's a very much much more of a shorter video this time, and hope to see you uh, in the next one. God bless. I'm starting with the same question to every person that is, do you have any faith, do you have any religion, do you have any belief? Yeah, I have, uh, I have a religion. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? Yeah, I'm okay. a Christian. Yeah. Okay. So, and uh, it's been, I don't know how to say it, it's, it's a cool religion, right? but it has its own faith in God and all. So, do you believe in God? Yes, I do. I'm a Christian myself as oh, well. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's all right. And could I ask, were you always a Christian? Hmm? Were you always? A Christian, or is that something that you became later no, on in your I've life? I've always been a Christian. Always? Always, yeah. So you were raised in a Christian family? Uh, yes, I was born into the Christian family. Born into a Christian Both family. Both my parents and my, and my mom and my dad were Christian. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And was there a time when you were growing up, or maybe in your adult uh, uh, time, where you made this faith your own, rather than, you know how oftentimes we get taught by our parents, mm -hmm. right? And then... There comes a time, maybe later, um, you're wondering, okay, what is it that I really believe? Uh, uh, how do I explain that to someone or that kind of stuff? Did you make it your own? Yeah, at the point, you know, there are some things that you see that would believe that is not ordinary. You right. get me? Yeah, it's, you, there are some things. You know, I, I came from, I'm, I'm from Africa. Yeah. I'm okay. a Nigerian. Yeah. So we've seen a lot of things. You know, we go through a lot of things that, you know, as out of ordinary, that, you know, this is God's doing. Okay. You get okay. what I'm telling you? So, it's 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 somehow it's somehow you can't you cannot compare it somehow but while I while I was growing up there was a time I had a very terrible accident. Okay. Very terrible one. Massive accident. Three people died in that car. Oh no. You understand? So it's just by grace of God. So why won't you have the belief? Right. Right. Do you understand? Why can't anyone have the belief that okay in this why why the people that died in that car could have been me? Mm -hmm. It's just the grace of God. It's only God who can protect anyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get what I'm telling you. So yeah. I just that's that's just one of the reasons anyway. Yeah. That maybe believe that this is real. Yeah. yeah. Even though we don't see him, but it's real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you had experiences that convinced you of Yeah, all experiences, of... majorly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, majorly. Yeah. That's why I docked tech. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because, yeah. How would you describe to someone who's asking, right, someone who may not know about Christianity, like what is the key message? What is the core message of Christianity? Yeah, well, I do not see why anyone would not believe in God in the first place or 
you know, Christian or something. When you see things, when you see this cloud, it does not have the beginning, it does not have an end. Mm -hmm. How did it come? How did it happen? Mm -hmm. How did it come into being in the first place? You get that? That means there's some su supreme power somewhere, mm -hmm. which is only God. You understand? Know, so, yeah, but there are many religions, right? There, Islam yeah, would say the same thing, right? Yeah, they would say, but yeah. They, yeah, we, we, we are, it's the same God. Okay. It's the same God, my brother. It's the same God. Either, either you are Buddhist, Buddhism, whether you are practicing Buddhism, whether you are practicing uh, Hindus or all that kind of thing. It, it's the same God we are looking at. It's just that it's different. The way we worship Him is different from each other. Right. Yeah, different okay. Okay. So, so that's, that's just it. So you think, so in that vein, like would a Buddhist and who or is Muslim who worships in their own God, would they also go to the same heaven if they are faithful to their religion? Ah, well, that, that I can't say, you know, right. I can't say about all that, but I know that we are calling the same God. He knows what to do, he knows what what is in everyone's mind, so I don't know how, I don't know, how, I don't know, but I know that we are all calling the same God. It's just that different, we have different ways of talking to him. Okay. Worshiping him. That's all. That's all. That, okay. that's, that, that's my belief. Okay. That's my belief. Well, how about, I mean, so oftentimes, right, people, uh, it's the person of Jesus Christ that, yeah. that is being understood differently yes. by different religions, yes. right? So yes. Muslims would say he's not the son of God and he's just a prophet. Not for right? a, a Muslim believe that. Not uh, a, most of the ones in, that in, I've in, spoken in, to. In yeah. Muslim, yeah. some people. Jesus is called Yusuf or Yusuf or something. Isa, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they still have some kind of, you know, explanation that blends with the Christian's uh, idea. Some, most of them, actually. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because I spoke to quite a few of them, and they would, mm -hmm. they would obviously they would uh, think of him highly as a prophet. Mm -hmm. But he's also ultimately just a, just a man, just like Moses. It's quite different. Moses they can't, they can't argue with that. How Jesus was born? How did Moses, how are born? Right. How, what was the mode of their, I mean, existence? How did they come into being? How did Jesus come into yeah, being? Yeah, I mean, the Allah. Right. How did they come in? So they can't compare. They didn't know. Right, right. Jesus was born without any kind of sexual intercourse. Yes. I mean, how did he come? He was born by man, by, by yeah. sexual intercourse. So you can't, they cannot. When I talk to them, when we argue about this, that's what I, that's my argument with them. Right. This is, this is, Jesus, how Jesus came into existence is, is strange, is mysterious. Right, right. Are you getting my point? Yeah. So you cannot compare. Like, Muhammad is a prophet, not that. Yeah. Just yeah. which everyone revered to as you know one of the major. But Christ, this all is is supernatural. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, you yeah. cannot you cannot you cannot compare the two together in a way or anything. So I don't argue with them when they, they they're not talking, when they're trying to make comparison between Jesus and and more prophet. It, fine, Muhammad is a very great prophet, but it's not it's incomparable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not just that, but then they, Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the, the truth life." And the lie. No one comes no, to the no Father. No more. No more. You said Except it. Me, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. said it. So yeah. you, I know that thing is just, just uh, you know, just the Pharisees just doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that to me, I mean, as a Christian, to me, you know, to the answer to the question, what what makes Christianity unique, is is really the person of Jesus, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What he did, who he is, who he is, what does it mean? For, for the rest of humanity mm. in relation to him whether they believe in him or not that's that's what makes a unique message of christianity yeah right? yeah uh, the, the gospel yeah, right yeah, the good news yeah yeah that's yeah. it that's it you said you have a couple of conversations you said maybe even arguments with some muslims or others yes. how does that tell me a little bit about how does that uh, come about you know we, we were talking then we were talking now uh, you know when you mention muhammad this will say halam there's a way the the the, uh, when you mention Muhammad, Allah, 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 Allah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Some so, peace be upon him, basically, it, whatever it is. Uh, it, yeah. I was, I, I, and I asked a question from a friend of mine. I said, why do you always, whenever Muhammad is mentioned, why do you always say this? Why, why do you always do this? That's how the argument started. Yeah. That's yeah. how we started That's the argument. Started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was saying, <laughs> In our own religion, when I remember Jesus, we don't have to say anything. We know in our mind that, hey, yeah. but why do you always have to attach some kind of, why are you so desperate to say this all yeah, the time? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the desperation whenever it is mentioned, yeah, yeah. all of you just sign and say, what for? Yeah, yeah. Is it the one you are worshipping or God? I don't understand. Yeah. You understand? So that's how the argument came about. It was so much, it was a massive argument. It's, it's, we had to go to one research. But I, we did some research, so many things. We talked about so many things. We argued about so many things. So, yeah. at the end of the day, we all left our separate ways. So nobody, nobody won the argument actually. Yeah. But in my own mind, you can't, I can't accept what you, what I don't believe in. 
Yeah, because I think ultimately to me they're a religion of rules, right? Rules. Yeah. Uh, we're a religion of grace. Yeah. Grace, right? So rules, you you have to. They, it says to them in the Quran, right? That every time, or hadiths or whatever it is, yeah. every time you say his name, you yeah. have to say whatever peace yeah, be upon yeah. him. Or yeah. there's other things like they have the five times per day they have to pray. They have to pray. They have to. They have to do you know, yeah. other things, right? Uh, yeah. They have to give to charity and all those kinds of things, which. Um, you know, none of them really follow. None of them really ultimately follow. Mm. But they all—that's—that's that's to them. That's they're aspiring to. They're aspiring exactly, to a exactly. righteous life. Which exactly. um, there's no grace. There's no love. There. There's no it's just, all, just obedience. Right? At all. Yeah. Yeah. So then I asked them that why you always why is it so hard? Your your kind of uh, I told my friend why is it so hard that this kind of religion is so hard? You are so hard-minded people. You don't mm -hmm. forgive people. You keep people at will. Mm -hmm. You understand? How could you be so much? I, I ask a lot of questions. You kill people. The one of the most terrible theories in this world are from that are from Muslim people. Yeah. So how come? How come have you had a Christian man put a bomb in his system and went to and go to, and go somewhere to blow himself and the people around there? Yeah. Have you had of anyone like that? Yeah, because we're, no. we're taught to love our enemies. Yes. Right? They're not taught to love their enemies. Yes. They're taught to conquer their enemies. Yes, yes. So it's 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 it's, it's so it's so yeah. it's the kind of hard religion to me. I, I which I don't like actually. So yeah, I'm sorry to say I don't like them in a way. I don't I don't I don't deal with them. I don't yeah. I don't. Uh, so it's to me they don't they don't forgive. If you mess up with them, they they will pretend as if they forgive you, but deep down inside their mind they don't. Right. Right. They don't. So that's why I don't. I don't. If you if if you see some of them, do I met some of the scholars? I've talked to some of their scholars. That the mm -hmm. way some people practice mm -hmm. this religion is quite different from the people who are educated, who know what they are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. quite different. You know. So right. when you listen to those people, you will know ah, this is good Islam. Yeah. Are you getting my point? Yeah. So it's confusing within among them. Very a confusing thing. You understand among them anyway. Well, that, that's it. That's my view. And do you have a chance to uh, do any? I don't know if you're part of a worship community or whatever it is. No, I've not been. I just got here. I just uh, came back just from. Uh, I just relocated here from Nigeria. I was in Brighton for about uh, two months, so I just relocated to London. I'm a family, so I've not been okay. able to go to anywhere to meet people who are who are Christians and you know churches anywhere. So I'm just trying to look up for a place where I can start worshiping God. I see. I see. Yeah. And back in Nigeria, did you have a? Were you part of a community? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah really. And is it uh, how is it to share your faith there? Because I know in Nigeria it's kind of divided north and south, right? Yeah, There's a lot yeah, of yeah. even conflict and division. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot. Christian south, yeah, Muslim north, north, yeah. Quite a lot of. Um, yeah. Obviously, we hear in the news here quite yeah. a lot of conflict. But is it easy for you to share your faith in Nigeria? Is that an easy thing to do? Well, that it depends on the, where you are. Right, you understand that depends on where you are. If if you are in the community, we are always in the support. You can't go to north, some of the call north, and start saying all things about Christian and all. Probably we get, you might probably get killed. Yeah, you understand. So it depends on the. I mean, I'm from southwest part of the country. Yeah, you understand. So it is very different there. So if people go out. I do evangelism. I did a lot of things. You know, I'm talking to people about Jesus. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So well, that's, that I'm able to share my, the people who don't who don't know. Yeah. The the word of God because they assist on people who don't read, who don't know the Bible in, yeah. in, in our country. We don't even hear the word of God in our country. So we go to some villages. We went to some villages that are called inside villages. So they, these people these people did not know what they don't know about Christianity. So we brought in there. One, there was one school I went to uh, in uh, in Oshobo, it's an Osho state. You don't know. It's mm -hmm. one of our. It's, one part, it's part of Southwest. In, mm -hmm. in, so I went there. Very cold, remote area. You know. So I talking to the teachers, talk to them, educate the teachers about Christianity. Then we started talking. Then I brought in my fam my my family. They were were there for about a week. Mm -hmm. And some of our pastors came later to join us there. So we were able to share the word of God with them. That was when they began to, you know, know much about the Christian. We distributed Bible through an NGO mm -hmm. you know, from the uh, U.S. They sent us Bibles. So we gave them Bibles. We talked to them. We, are, we, we preached to them. We let them know the truth. That this is the only way. This is the only truth. And Even some of them are worshippers of... Uh, uh, there's what we call uh, idols uh, yeah. like Ogun, Obatala, and all those things. I, I don't know if you know about that, but you know, so spirits, we, we like spirits, yeah, yeah, like natural, kind of natural, natural, natural yeah, yeah, yeah. Goals, yeah. Yeah. So we're able to convince them that this 
cannot talk. You don't yeah. do anything. Yeah. You yeah. cannot worship in all this. Yeah. You understand? So we talked to them. We were able to convince at least 40% of them. Yeah, well, that's really good. Yes, sir. So really good, yeah. that was the only work I did that I was so happy about. That. Man, with yeah. this, I, 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 we do still talk. Yeah. I have to talk to most of them on, on, on Facebook, on, on some of the people I... No, I even brought some of them back to main city. We organized a, 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 a church, something that we brought them, someone who would I, I want to relocate, that wanted to relocate to the main city. We provided them a shelter, a home, we gave them a job. Mm-hmm. So we are, still, we are still talking to, to, to today. That's great. Yeah, That's great. so yes. that was, that's the only thing I'm able to do that, uh, that gave me peace of mind, at least. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, we are called, right? We are called to 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 go out into the world, right? Yeah, to be yeah, the uh, yeah, um, teach yeah. teach people and make yeah, disciples of yeah, all nations, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah I, my 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 prayer, my wish for you is that you find find the same opportunities here. I hope so. I know you're you're fairly yeah. new in the country, yeah, but yeah, I, I do so. hope that uh, that passion yeah, and that yeah. joy. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, we I, need it here. We need a lot of yeah, you know, here. I also, the, I'm I'm yeah. I'm thinking about it. I've just, I just want to get my feet first. Yes, then yes, indeed. Look yeah. For areas and where I can just you know put my own input and that's right see yeah. where it goes from there yeah yeah wonderful yeah, yeah. that's really encouraging yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you so much yeah. thank you so much all for right. uh, stopping all right. by and thank, right. talking thank to you. me and yeah. i wish god's blessings upon you thank you so my much brother, yeah. thank you so much